Carson Presley. Music critics, Jim DeRogatis and Greg Potts. And musical guest, Catherine Russell. With Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg Seven. Now, here's your host, Cole. Show's not that good. <laughs> I'm serious. I've seen it. Uh, no, welcome. Such a good show. Such a good show tonight. We have a lot of fun stuff planned. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Max, nice to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Con. All right. <laughs> that little head thing at the end, that's a new thing you learned. That's good. That means yeah. I mean it. Yeah, it's good. I'm sincere. Yeah, yeah. That'll, <laughs> when you testify at your trial, that will be very useful. <laughs> I murdered no one. <laughs> No, you look good. I like the blue, the way it matches the blue stripes behind you, and... You kind of fade just, into it, don't I? Yeah, it's very nice. Okay, that went nowhere. Uh, <laughs> I should talk about something. Last night, uh, I'm just curious, who watched the Grammys? Do people watch the Grammys last night? <laughs> okay. If you can tell at home, that was about one-eighth of the crowd. <laughs> Everyone else doesn't know what I'm talking about. No, it's a, it was a big show last night, the Grammys. It's an important show. Very exciting, and uh, a lot of big stars there last night, you know, performing. It was big Kanye had a big, I don't know who, was, who that is, but uh, <laughs> I was just told to say that. No, Kanye West, he was great, I thought. He got the show started, it was great, but uh, I don't know, I, I was disappointed myself in the Grammys because uh, yet another year has passed, and still, our theme song has not won a Grammy. <laughs> yeah. I don't, e I don't even know if it's eligible, but I just think it's so good. Think about it, our theme song, you know? You have to uh, start with a bang, 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 and then boom, 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 And it's great for the, the kids love it. I often hear kids just humming it. Uh, it's true, old people love it. They're like, it reminds me of something when I was young. <laughs> it brings people together, our theme song, it's great. But no Grammy. Every year, I think, I'm just gonna, the phone's gonna ring. Did you see? You just want a Grammy for your theme song? Nothing. So I thought, we've tried it. What, it's been like 15 years our show's been on the air. It's never won a Grammy for its theme song. I think it's time to change it to something more contemporary, something that maybe is gonna have more of a cool edge to it, something that's gonna be a little Grammy bait. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're just gonna have to give it to me next year. So uh, I put together this... Uh, this, uh, this little pretend uh, beginning with our new theme song. Uh, let me know what you think, take a look. What up, y'all? Straight out of 30 Rock is Late Night with C.O.B. Tonight, we got my man Carson Cressley all up in this piece, along with these two dudes, Jim DeRogatis and Greg Cott. So stick around, because Catherine Russell is going to pump up some jams with Max Weinberg and his homie. And now, Co to the O'Brien! Damn, that dude is mad white. That would be a good opening. That would get people going. That would get it all moving, don't you think? Okay, then. Uh, you haven't listened to the radio since 1971. <laughs> well, let's talk about tonight's show, because we have such a good show. Our first guest starred on Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Now you can see him on Lifetime's How to Look Good Naked. Carson Cressley's on the show. How about it, Carson Cressley? Yeah. Uh, music critics and hosts of the syndicated rock music talk show, Sound Opinions. These are smart guys. We'll explain uh, a little bit about what happened last night and what's going on in the music business. Jim DeRogatis and Greg Cott are here. How bad of them? You got about. 
And then musical guest tonight, we're thrilled, Catherine Russell is in our house. Yeah. Yes. Hello. 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 This is my house. I live here. And I can sell it one day. Right over here, Max Weinberg, and Max Weinberg 7, right over there, Max. Oh, Some exciting news, ladies and gentlemen, uh, over the weekend. Uh, I guess we were all reading about it in the newspaper. It seems like the writer's strike is just about over, which I think is... Yeah. yeah. That's right. looks like the... Uh, it looks like... And you can never be sure. I guess they have to have one more vote. How does it work, Jeff? I don't understand it. They have to... They've all decided, but now the membership has to vote. Uh, but it looks like if all goes well and everyone says it's going to go well, that the writers will be back here on Wednesday. And, and I'm thrilled. I've, I've yes. missed my writers. These are very talented people, very funny people. They're going to be back here. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it's, it's good news for everybody. You're excited, aren't you, Max? Oh, yeah, it's great. Okay. Uh, and uh, this... <laughs> 